Hey everyone, this is Samir and you are watching Nation Innovation. Today we are going to discuss about FPGA. Uh, the last video that I uploaded was on uh, a very basic FPGA board. Right now I have a really advanced kind of FPGA board and we will see a, a small demo of that board. The program that we are going to upload on the FPGA is a simple program uh, using which we will be uh, use, uh, controlling the LEDs using some uh, slide switches. The program, the program will be written in uh, very loud uh, programming language. We are, you can also write the same code in VHDL, but right now we are using very loud HDL. So let's have a look. first. Let's have a look at the board itself. Then we will see uh, how to test the board, and then we will see how to program the FPGA on it. So this is the FPGA board provided by FPGATestSolutions.com. Here you can see there are lots and lots of peripherals available on board itself. Uh, for example, LCD the 7 segment displays, the USB, it also has an FT2232 USB 2 serial interface uh, using which you can interface the FPGA with the, uh, with the USB interface of your personal computer. It also has buzzers, uh, these are the normal GPIO pins and this is the buzzer, the, this is the uh, relay and this is a potentiometer. It also has onboard uh, ADC and DAC is also. So now let's check whether the board is in working condition or not. The board it's a use, how we will do that? The board itself comes with a program pre-uploaded. So uh, I will connect this board to my PC and let's see whether that uh, the code that was pre-loaded pre in the FPGA was, is in working condition or not. So let's have a quick demo of that. So here we can see the code that was pre-uploaded on the FPGA is running right now. You can see the, the sequential blinking of the LEDs, the, the color changing of the RGB LED, plus on the top right corner you can see a counter on the uh, uh, 7 segment displays, plus if you zoom in you can see on the LCD it is written FPGA Solutions Pune. So this is the code that is pre-uploaded on the FPGA and uh, yeah, and if you, uh, if you purchase this board and you see this kind of movements on the board, uh, the it, it clearly means that your board is in working condition. This was the code that was pre-uploaded on the FPGA. We had not, nothing to do with this code because it was pre-uploaded and we did nothing to uh, program this FPGA till now. So now let's upload our own program on this FPGA. Uh, the program as I explained will be, you can see these uh, these slide switches and these LEDs. The program that I will be writing is that using these uh, uh, slide switches we will be controlling these LEDs on the board. So let's have a look at the program now. So this is the manual of the FPGA development board. It is uh, the FPGA on it is the Spartan 6 family and uh, so let's see some other details available. This has uh, the, these are the key components. Uh, this is the main FPGA on board, the HC6 SLH9. It is a TQ144 uh, pin package. Uh, the oscillator is 12 MHz. This is the flash on board, M25P40. Here we can see it also has a 10 bit SPI ADC on board, the 8 bit DAC, and there are other peripherals available. Here uh, you can see all the details. The pin mapping also is also given. Uh, you can see this is the pin mapping for, for the slide switches that we will be using and this is the pin mapping for the LEDs that we will be using. Uh, this we will be using in this project so this is pretty important. Other details are also available at the pin mapping of the LCD display. This, uh, this is the pin mapping for uh, 7 segment interface and other all sorts of interface are available. You can see it is almost 10 page manual, it's uh, very uh, informative. I will provide a link to this manual uh, in the given uh, in the de description given below, and there you uh, in the in that link you will find also some uh, projects related to this FPGA, where uh, uh, some projects like interfacing with LCD, interfacing with seven segments, all those projects. But uh, mostly all of the here we are using very loud HDL, but there most of the projects will be in VHDL. The, because that link is provided by the company it's, uh, itself and they will they are using VHDL as their programming language. So now let's go to our project. For implementing the, yeah this is our project, this is the code that I have written. 
let's for, for now let's ignore it and uh, create a new project let's first i will copy uh, copy this code and create a new project for creating the new project go to file new project here you can uh, uh, enter your project name uh, for example let like i'm what shall i name it um, like nation innovation nation in next uh, here we have to choose what kind of uh, top level source we are providing here i am using hdl or the hardware descriptive language as the top level source next here we have to choose uh, our device the evaluation board we are not using any uh, industry specified evaluation board we are just using uh, uh, this uh, this pattern sets board so we will be using uh, this FPV on the evaluation uh, development board uh, we will be specifying non specified then again here we have to specify the family there are lots of families available like tintets vertets spartan 3 spartan sets uh, many others so as we are using spartan sets fpga we will be providing spartan sets details here these are the details of the fpga that we are using it is hc sets uh, slx 9 fpga and this is the package tqg 144 pin speed the rest everything we have to keep it keep by default whatever the details the default details that were given earlier we have to keep that only so click on next here uh, uh, whatever we have selected in the previous steps is given click finish so this new project window will will be open now in this uh, nation in project right click and add new source not that don't click on add source because if you click on add source this whole window will, will be closed so click on new source and we are uh, specifying a very lot module and we have to name the module let's keep the same name nation in we have to specify all the inputs and outputs that we will be uh, providing in the uh, we will be using in this project so there are uh, there are like uh, eight switches so let's name all the switches switch zero switch one switch two switch three switch four switch five. it's pretty long right and understand and it might be a little bit boring also but you can if you find it a little bit boring you can sp uh, skip this part of the video you can forward it six seven and we just press uh, all these uh, all these switches will be uh, uh, inputs and then we can specify the leds led zero led one led two led three four five six seven all these leds we have to configure as outputs this is an optional step you can also skip the you can skip this also and provide uh, explicitly in your program also but this kind of makes your program a little bit more readable and readability is a good quality is a quality of a good program so now let's go to the next next step here you can see i've selected all the switches as inputs and all the leds as outputs so let's go to next so here whatever we have selected in the previous step will be given here for verification purpose click on finish and here you can see the all all those details are given in your module in order to uh, uh, carry out our pro uh, as i as you know i have uh, copy uh, copied my uh, code earlier i will be pasting it here so this is the code that we that we are using led 0 s switch 0 uh, led zero, 1 will be equal to switch 1 why, why am i do, doing this because switch 1 suppose uh, take example of switch 1 here uh, whenever switch 1 will be on the led has to turn on and when whenever switch 1 is off led will have to be turned on uh, or turned off so there there should be a direct connection between the switch and the led so that's why i'm using this assign keyword also we am using to assign the value of the switch to the led now to compile this program first let's save it uh, here let's save it the program is saved now then for compiling this program first we have to synthesize it click on synthesize 
double click on synthesize and it will take some time give it some time it will complete in a few moments yeah so it is complete now we have to implement this design there are three steps in implementation translate map and place and route before implementing this design for we have to specify which input which port or which input or, or which output of this module corresponds to which pin on the fpga in order to specify that we have to create a new file called the US ucf file for creating the ucf file right click on this at uh, csets as that's 9 add uh, click on new source and then click on implementation constraint file let's give it the same name nation in and click on next and then finish so this file the, this file also has its own syntax we will not be discussing that in much detail but let's have a quick review of that uh, so this is the basic syntax of the ucf file you can see net the net keyword uh, net is one of the keywords and loc is one of the keyword net specify whatever the input or output we are specified in our module and location this loc specified the, the actual location on the fpga which means to which uh, pin of the fpga it is mapped for, for example you can see sw0 the switch 0 is um, is mapped to the pin number 5 switch 1 is mapped to the pin number 9 so this is the uh, of similarly for all the switches and for all the leds we have to specify the pin number of the fpga so let's save this file so now that we have already synthesized our uh, design let's now implement it we have saved this uh, ucf file and now let's implement the design click double click on the implement design and right now the translate is going on then mapping will take place and then placing and routing will take place it will take some time so give it some time to complete so now that the translation mapping and placing and routing has uh, uh, completed we have first we have to connect our fpga board with the uh, this computer and gender then the next step is generate the programming file double click on generate the programming file and it will generate your bit file that we will be uploading on the target device or or in our case the xylens fpga so give it some time to complete yeah so now this has completed the next step is to enlarge this configured target device and go to manage configuration double click on manage configuration and here we have to double click on the boundary stand then here right click and initialize the chain so it will identify your uh, if your device is connected it will identify your uh, uh, the FPGA that you have connected do you want to continue and assign configuration files yes we have to assign the configuration file so click on yes then select the bit file that we will be uploading we are, in our case we are uh, uploading the uh, go to the folder in which your uh, this project is saved uh, in our case it is nation in and this switch led bit this bit file we are uploading on this fpga so click on uh, yes double click on the switch led dot bit file so this file is now selected do you do you want to attach spi or prom no right now we are not uh, not programming the uh, eprom on the on board this uh, fpga board so click on no and then you have to just click on OK and now right click on this device and click on program so you can see the message here program succeeded so right now let's have a look at the the demo that whether the program is actually uploaded on this uh, FPGA or not so now that we have uploaded the code on the FPGA you can see all the blinking of the RGB LEDs the 7 segment displays and the normal LEDs have stopped so uh, right now let's have a look at the demo let's see if we what happens if i switch on any of the slide switches so let's take this switch you can see the corresponding led has now turned on 
let's switch on some other switch yeah that led also turned on let's uh, let's now switch on all the all the switches so you can see all the leds have now turned on now let's switch off any one of the led so that led has now turned off let's now switch on switch off all the leds let's see what happens now so you can see all the leds have turned off so this was a really simple code that we have uploaded on this board just for a demonstration purpose in our uh, coming videos we will be uploading more complicated and more uh, advantageous codes that uh, on this fpga for example interface uh, interfacing the uh, uart to usb controller interfacing the lcd interfacing these uh, all sort of peripherals that we can imagine uh, that we can implement using a microcontroller also this is a bit slight this is this board is slightly on a higher side if you see financially but if you are really really interested in pursuing vlsi or uh, embedded systems as your career the, this board will be really helpful in finding the for example if someone wants to do a freelancing then uh, in that case also this these kinds of boards will be really really helpful in your career thank you very much for watching this video if you like the video please do uh, do uh, do press on the like button the subscribe button and the bell icon so uh, till next till next time goodbye